Uh, hello, um, I wanted to do a vlog today because I had a really cool experience. Um, you know, one of those things in life that you do that um, I'll always look back and remember on. Remember? Um, today I performed as part of um, the Fringe Festival, like in a play like um, that I've been rehearsing with um, a group, including some of my friends, called Wiz As. Um, that's what the show is called. And so I performed a play. Um, in front of an audience today for the first time, so we've got like um, six shows over two weeks, so uh, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday nights, and today, yeah, we performed it for the first time today, and it was so cool, like, I mean, I had such a good time, like, it was fun, really, really fun. Like, I have not been in a play since um, performing in front of, like, an audience since I was in um, grade six, when um, I remember her, it's funny how it's burned into my brain, like, her name was Tanya Nutt, and she was, um, she was, uh, from high school, and she came down to our primary school and said she was putting on a play for her, um, I think it was drama class or something like that, and, uh, so she had written a play, and she, you know, she got some of the sh us sh students to act in it, and I played, it was called The Tale of Snubby, The Tale was written T-A-I-L, and, um, yeah, it was really cool. I, I remember my character was, like, you know, it's, it's kind of like a, I think I was, like, a squirrel or something. I was in, like, this full-body kind of, like, leotard type of thing, and I had a tail and stuff, and, yeah, I had, like, l lines to learn and stuff like that. And, um, so I have not been in a play since then, and, um, I never did one in high, in high school, but although, looking back, I wish I did, you know, take part in those, because it sounds like it would have been so fun, and especially me, I... I've really find out, I found out that I really love to go to see musicals and theatres and stuff like that. You know, I don't know a lot about it, but I really love Les Mis and, ooh, Les Mis. Ha oh. <laughs> uh, ha. I happen to be wearing that t-shirt. Um, and, um, oh, and Wicked, I love Wicked. Um, so today we had the, the first, um, performance and... The way it came about that I was in this play was like really like totally random and it was like um I don't know how long ago, ago, ago it was maybe maybe two months ago or something I'm not really sure but um I, I just attended um a Melbourne Muggles kind of a meetup it was for Harry Potter's birthday like I'm part of this group in Melbourne called the Melbourne Muggles and we and, and it was like they got together at Melbourne Central Food Court just to celebrate Harry Potter's um, birthday and so I came along to that just my intention was just to hang out and do that and all of a sudden now uh, one of the people who came his, her name was Catherine and she's um, she's the one that wrote this play and she's done it before she's she's like a writer and she writes for um, cartoon shows and she does like plays like she's she, she does plays like for the uh, Fringe mm -hmm. Festival and for um, the comedy festival and stuff like that. And then she, she, I happened to be sitting next to her and she said to me, uh, have you, how comfortable do you feel like being in front of a stage? And I'm like, uh, and she goes, have you been in a play before? And I was like, oh yeah, when, when I was in primary school, I was in a play and um, she goes, would you want to be like um, Godzilla's backup dancer or something? Like we, we need a green thing for our play. And I'm like, um, and she told me like, it will be in September and stuff like that. and. And then when she asked me that, my brain just went like, wow, why not? You know, I was thinking, because I, I didn't want, I never want to say like I'm going to do something unless I know I can commit to it. And so it, gave, it took me like a, you know, like 20, 20 seconds or so, but I said, okay, I'll do it, you know, like, um, and I, because I thought it'll be fun, like, you know. She said, all you have to do is, like, dance around a bit and you're a backup dancer and stuff like that. I thought, oh, yeah, that sounds all right. <laughs> and so, and she goes, like, the first rehearsal was, like, that afternoon. So after the meeting, I had, like, an hour. And then after that, I would head up to this place called The Boyd where they would um, start rehearsing and stuff like that. So I went down to that, and that's where the journey began. Like, when I got there, um, I already knew Sarah Cooper and Rod, who were in the, in the play as well. They were, like, my friends. And so they were in it, and, um... Like, um, yeah, they were playing, like, main parts and stuff. And, like, I didn't know any of the others yet. And it was funny, like, oh, when I was first into it, I was like, wow, these people, they're so creative and, like, like um, really out there and stuff like that. And I'm like, whoa, yeah. It's, like, kind of like, um, t you know how, like, yeah, I was just, like, it's a totally different situation that I'm not normally in. 
And it was cool. It was a really, really fun experience. And the funny thing I realized is, like, after all these weeks, I've really grown comfortable around them. Like, I feel comfortable around them. And they're all awesome. Like, I like all of them. Like, they're all really cool. And it, it's funny, at the start, they were strangers, and now they're, like, my friends. So, kind of like the, so one of the best things that I got out of this whole experience was, like, uh, new friends. So, it's really, really cool. So, um, I've, got, I've got some of them on Facebook, and I've been to some of their houses and stuff. I've had really good memories and stuff. Oh, it's cool. And... Yeah, I had such a good time being in this play, like, and all it was is just, like, saying, yes, I will do this. But the thing, there is sacrifices to do, and it's it's interesting, like, um, because cause there were rehearsals all the time, and I, I made most of, pretty much all the rehearsals, and, um, yeah, so there's some nights when I haven't been home a lot, like, I've been out, uh, like, two nights a week, especially, you know, um, at the rehearsals. And so I haven't been home as much. And also, um, I've got my uncle and auntie visiting from America right now. Like, they came, they're here for three weeks. And it happens to be the three of the two weeks that the show is on. And, like, so I can't, I've really, because I, I really cannot not go to these shows, all the rehearsals, you know. Like, because I see it, like, there's all these people, um, these other people in the, in, the, in the crew, like, they put everything they have into it, like, um, you know. And so I can't not go. It's like, it's like we're all like, like a house of cards, like together. And you can't just take one card out because one card out and it will just like kind of like fall down. So everyone has to be there. And the th cool thing is everyone, you can just see everyone puts in everything they have. It's awesome. Like <laughs> some of them are like, you can see how tired and exhausted they are. Like, because they have other jobs to go to. And like Morgan, he's in another show as well. And, like, they looked just exhausted, but then on the show tonight, like, they rocked it. Oh, it was so cool. So, um, yeah, it was so much fun. So, the show is called Wiz As. Um, by the time you watch this video, the show will probably be over. But, uh, if you do want to check it out, it's called Wiz As, and it's on at Club Voltaire as part of the Melbourne Fringe Festival. Um, so, if you want to check it out. Like, um, the part that I play is, um, a green thing. So, I'm in this, like, lycra thing square. I don't know, how, but kind of, it looks, it's it's actually, apparently it looks pretty cool when we're in it, um, but yeah, it was fun, um, oh, I'll just show you some stuff, like, like, like I had to, like, I didn't have to, but I did, I printed out, like, the script of it, and, like, and then I wrote, um, on my phone, like, I had, like, a note of, like, everything that I had to do in the whole play, like, in chronological order, so when I caught the train to go to the rehearsal, I'd go, walk through all the steps that, um, that I had to do, so it was funny, like, today when it was time to, um, perform, I pretty much knew in my head, like, what I would have to do next, and next, and next, and next, like, okay, this scene, I have to do this, then I exit here, you know, it was, like, funny how all the preparation I'd done beforehand just made it so smooth, like, how to do it, um, even down to little things, like, because I'm, like, I'm one of the green things, and I sit behind this barrel, right, um, and it's, like, out of view, this big barrel, and I'm kind of, like, sitting there, and the first time I did it, I was, like, oh, I just, because I got to stay there, and, like, um, so I kind of get, like, like, after a while, if you sit in one position for ages, you kind of get, um, feel kind of, oh, I need to move, but then I, I thought, okay, what about those people who just squat down, like, you know, like, um, uh, especially like, uh, it's a, like a Vietnamese thing where people like squat down a lot. So, and I, I hadn't, haven't done a lot, but I was thinking, you know, that's, they look like they could squat for ages. So in the last few rehearsals, I've been squatting down and it's like, sh while I was doing it, I think I was, it was hard at first, but then I, could, I felt like the, my hip flexors or whatever they are, um, stretched out a little bit. And today it was like, like heaps better. I could squat for quite a while. So it was really cool because I could just squat down. It was awesome. So, again, a new ability, squatting. <laughs> uh, squatting for extended periods. Um, oh, yeah, so and so it was cool. Like, I did that. I had my script that I had. And, and each for the... There's, like, three main songs that the Green Things do a kind of chore choreographed dance to. Or actually, three or four. And, um, see, I, I even wrote notes. Like, I don't know if you can see it. Stuff like that. All the moves and stuff. And I knew them down pat because um actually like in one of the rehearsals um I, I asked um some other people to use my phone and video record the song and then what I did was I had the song on my phone and then I could just watch the song at home and hear it 
and it was really good just to do that. And then whenever I heard it, I imagined like what movements I had to do. So it was really, really cool. Like I did all this stuff. It was like awesome. I really enjoyed it. Like I feel like I was, and it was cool. Like, like I was given this green thing character and I really felt like, um, like I was acting because when I was in the doing it, I wasn't just doing these actions. I was actually feeling like I was this green thing who I, I made up all these uh, like a personality for this green thing or kind of stuff like in my mind he was a little bit like um you know the Muppets how there's Beaker you know how there's Bunsen and Beaker Beaker's the skinny one who just he's like kind of dumb like that, that I felt like that was kind of like my one my guy my green thing was kind of like dumb and um he just loves music like he just loves music because um Catherine was telling us that um the green things are kind of like the house cells in Harry Potter they just kind of do things for people um, they're there, you know, like, you know what I mean? I don't know. But, um, for me, I was, like, um, imagining, like, my green thing just loves music, loves dancing. So when he sees other people dancing, he loves to copy. And if he gets a chance to join in, he's all in it. So when I was doing it, I felt like that. It was really, really cool. And even, like, when I was looking at things, I was in character and stuff. It was fun. Like, I don't normally do this stuff. So it was awesome. I really, really enjoyed it. Um... Ooh, what else to say? Ah! So, it was fun. It was just heaps of heaps of fun. I really like the music in this. Uh, okay, so what Wizards is about is like, uh, basically, there's three friends. Xander, Liam, and Ella. And they're part of this, um... Well, they're part of an in a wizard rock band. Like, they're from in the Harry Potter universe. And they hear that there's a person coming with an indie contract. Indie contract? Uh, and they want to try to win this contract and then become a, like a, a indie rock band and so then there's like a competition of like a singing competition or something like that and um, yeah I won't explain all of it but the, what the really thick cool thing is like um, the storyline is about friendship and like I like the storyline I like the themes a lot so it's awesome I like the music I like the people um, one really cool thing was like because I'm in this green lycra suit thing um, during the show, I was, um, sitting there with the, you know, lights coming down and I, when I stretch the lycra out, I can see clearer. Like, when I don't stretch it, I can't see through it, but when I stretch it, I can see what's, you know, what's going on. And me sitting on the ground, looking up at this show performing, like, and they're up above me, like, <laughs> it's like an experience. You can't even pay for this experience. Like, who else can you, who else can experience that vision of the play? So it was surreal, it was awesome. I wish I could have like camera, like I could take a photo of what I saw or a video of what I saw because it was surreal, like looking at it, just seeing this play happen around me, knowing that there's an audience in the blackness, you know, out there, there's an audience. And it was cool. Another really cool thing was I wasn't like super, super nervous um, about it. First of all, when I do public speaking on my own, I don't, I don't think I really get nervous at all. Like, I don't know, a lot of, I know most people do, but I don't, I just, I don't know, because even, I know if I did stuff up or anything, I really wouldn't, you know, it, unless it was at my friend uh, Vu's wedding, like, um, I, I wasn't nervous, but I didn't want to stuff it up because it's a big thing for, you know, it's a wedding, very important. <laughs> but like, in general, if I just have to get up and speak in front of people, I'm not too fussed, but this is another thing where I kind of like, I'm not too fussed about myself, but I don't want to stuff up because that would stuff up other people. So a little part of me was like, oh, um, I don't want to stuff up. But then I tried not to focus on that, like at all, like, you know, not on the negative. I was like thinking, um, just enjoy it. Have fun. Uh, Nicole from my workplace, she actually said to me, um, she goes, yeah, just have fun with it. Like that was some advice she was giving because she's been like an extra on like, um, in New Zealand on like Hercules and Xena and stuff like that and she said yeah her advice was like um just just enjoy it have fun you know and that's what Catherine said before the show she said um you know before the show that last rehearsal she says don't worry too much you know whatever will be will be you know what's ever meant to happen is going to happen you know you know it's really cool to have not not have that huge pressure on you which is cool like I will it was interesting because I, yeah, I wasn't feeling nervous. I was just having fun. Especially the first show, now that it's out of the way, I know what to expect. I know what, like, we've got five more shows and I feel really, like, happy. Like, um, I know what to expect. Now, now I know what to do. I can kind of, like, revel in it a bit more. I don't know. I don't know. I hope it was really cool. Like, everything, it went really well. <laughs> 
So yeah, that's really all I want to say, I think. Uh, if I'm, hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. I'm just, all, it's funny how all it, what it took was me, like I wasn't even 100% sure I was going to go to the Harry Potter's birthday. I was just like, oh, might as well go. I don't have anything on today and I've not been able to go to this in the last few years because I had other things on. So let's just go. And then all of a sudden this happened. It's like, whoa. <laughs> it's really, really cool. Um, I think that's all I want to say, but I really, really am happy that I did that and, and I'm doing it now. Even though it's been tricky because, you know, with my uncle and auntie here, like, I've had to say, oh, I can't, I can't go to Sydney with you because I have to go to this show, like, you know, that's the only thing, but I don't know, it's, that's just the way life is, isn't it? But, um, yeah, I'm really happy I did that. So, yeah.